Hi guys, welcome to Cheryl's Home Cooking. So let's get started. Welcome to Cheryl's Home Cooking and today what I'm going to show you is my creamy garlic chicken. So let's get started. Along with my creamy garlic chicken, I'll also be making my potato parmesan chips. They're super yummy. Now I'll chop up four cloves of garlic for my creamy garlic chicken. I already have eight slices of bacon that I cooked, so I'll leave this off to the side. Now I'll chop up my garlic. This creamy garlic chicken is so good. And of course I'm using a Zacon chicken. I just placed an order for bacon, pork tenderloins, and breaded chicken patties. So I can't wait for them to come in. And my hamburg should be coming in. So I'll place this garlic in the same pan that I cooked my bacon in. I also have 8 ounces of cream cheese at room temperature. So I'll place my garlic off to the side because I need to flatten my chicken breast. So I have two chicken breasts and like I said this is a Zacon chicken. So I'll open up my package. Remove the chicken breast. I'll get this trash out of here. So I have a piece of plastic wrap. I'll take one of the chicken breasts. I'll place it between the plastic wrap and then pound it down nice and flat. I'll also cut off any excess fat. chicken stays in between the plastic. That's good. So I'll leave this off to the side and pound down the second chicken breast. That's perfect. So now I'll place my garlic in this little container. I need the cutting board. Before I place my chicken in the frying pan, I want to cut off any excess fat. So I see a little bit right here. Perfect. Now place it on top of the plastic and do the same to the second chicken breast. That's perfect. Now I'll go wash off my hands. 
So I have my pan on medium low. This is the same pan that I cooked the bacon in. So now I'll salt and pepper the chicken breast and place it salt and pepper side down. Then salt and pepper this side. Now I'll go get my second chicken breast. I'll do the same to this one. A little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper. And salt and pepper this side. There's the pepper and a little bit of salt. You want to brown your chicken on both sides and make sure that it's cooked thoroughly. So while that's cooking, I'll take my bacon and dice it. When I flip my chicken over, that's when I'll add in my garlic. So now I'll place this bacon back onto my plate. That's good. Go wash my hands and then I'll flip my chicken. So now I'll flip my chicken breast. Oh yeah. I'll place my garlic in. Now I'll wait for my chicken to brown on this side. I have my oven on 350. Now for my sauce. For my sauce, I have one and a half cups of heavy whipping cream that I'll place in my pot. To this, I'll add in four ounces of Parmesan cheese. To the heavy whipping cream and Parmesan cheese, that's when I'll add in my eight ounces of cream cheese. This creamy garlic chicken is so good. So I'll place it in my pot. Now the bacon that I diced up, and it was eight slices of bacon, I'll place that in as well. And I also have some oregano and basil that I picked from my garden. So I'll chop up the oregano. Nothing like using fresh herbs, you can really taste the difference. That looks good. That's about three tablespoons, so now I'll add this into my pot. Along with my basil. That's about a teaspoon. Now I'll place my pot on my burner. You can see how nice and brown the chicken breasts are. 
couple more minutes and then I'll turn my burner off. Meanwhile, I have my sauce on my burner. I have it on medium low. So you just want the cream cheese to melt in to the heavy whipping cream. To my sauce, I'll be adding in one small bottle of white wine, and it's one cup, so I'll open it up, I'll pour it in. I'll mix this around. This sauce is so good over the chicken, oh my god. So I have my burner on medium low. My chicken is done. You see how nice and brown it is on both sides. So now I'll turn my burner off. I'll place the chicken breast in my casserole dish. Along with the garlic. That's what it looks like. It really smells good. So now I'm just waiting on my sauce. So now I'll mix my sauce. The cream cheese is almost blended in. This smells good. Let me just give it a little taste. Mmm. Wow, this is good. I'll add in just a little bit of pepper. I'm not going to add in any salt. And you'll bake this in the oven for 30 minutes. You want this gravy to really soak into your chicken breast. I'll give it another try. Mmm. Oh my god, is this good. So a few more minutes and the sauce will be coming off the stove. Now I'll turn my burner off and pour this over my chicken breast. So now the sauce goes over my chicken breast. Oh yeah. You see all the bacon bits? Boy, this is going to be really good. So now I'll place some aluminum foil on top and place it in my 350 degree oven for 30 minutes. Now into the oven it goes. Now for my side dish for my creamy garlic chicken, I'll be making Parmesan potato chips. So I have five potatoes and I'll be slicing my potatoes like chips. I have them thin. So I'll place them off to the side and put them in a bowl. And continue on with the rest. I have five potatoes because they're kind of small. And you'll just fry these. Once they're fried, then I'll put them on a paper towel to drain off any excess oil. Salt and pepper them, and then sprinkle some Parmesan cheese on top, and they're done. Last potato. You can see how small they are. But this is plenty for two people. Just 
especially with all that chicken. That's what it looks like. So now we'll clear off my counter. Now I have some oil in my pan. I'll see if it's hot enough. Not yet. A few more minutes. And then I'll be placing my potato chips in my oil. Now I'll place my chips in a couple at a time. That chicken smells so good in the oven. So it'll just take a few minutes for them to brown up. Once they're brown, I'll place them on a paper towel and then I'll put them on my baking pan, salt and pepper them, put a little Parmesan cheese and then place them in my oven. I'm just placing them in my oven to keep warm until my chicken is ready to come out of the oven. You can see they all floated to the top, so now I'll remove them. Oh yeah. Let the excess oil drain off of them. Now I'll add some more in. Place a little salt. I'll test one. Mm -mm -mm. My God, they're so good. Mm -mm -mm. Now I'll take the second batch out. Oh yeah. Add some more in. I'll add a little bit of salt and I'll just sprinkle a little bit of Parmesan cheese on top. Oh yeah, that looks good. I'll give one a try. It's got the cheese on it. Looks good. Mm -mm -mm. Oh yeah. Now I'll take the last of the potato chips out of the oil. Let them drain. Oh yeah. Perfect. Look at how good these potato parmesan chips came out. They smell good. So now I'll make a plate and try it along with my creamy garlic chicken. Now let me check on my creamy garlic chicken. Remove the foil. Oh yeah, that's perfect. So now I'll take it out of the oven. I'll remove the foil. Wow, it smells really good. So now I'll place a chicken on my plate. Look at how tender that is. I'll place some of the creamy sauce on top. Oh yeah. Now doesn't that look good? Look at how good that looks. So now I'll try a bite of the chicken. You don't even need a knife, it's so tender. So I have some of the bacon, the sauce. Mmm, 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 mmm. Wow. That's really good. I'll try one of my potato parmesan chips. That looks good. Mm, mm, mm. 
perfect. Oh my God. So good. Well, thanks so much for tuning in to another episode of Cheryl's Home Cooking and watching me make my creamy garlic chicken and my potato parmesan chips. They're really good. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next video. Bye-bye. Well, thanks so much for tuning in to another episode of Cheryl's Home Cooking. Please hit the like button, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next video. Bye-bye. Thank you.